important thing about this video my visa was approved at the hyderabad consulate hey guys with on this side and i will be starting my master's journey this fall 2024 and uh, this video is all about my visa process and first of all the most important thing about this video my visa was approved at the hyderabad consulate and that's the most important thing because this year hyderabad consulate had the maximum number of rejections at the present moment so i was really worried about my visa chances about my preparation but my friends and family got me through it so i'll be guiding you throughout this video about how you apply for your visa and what is the process of the visa interview and biometrics you go through so stay tuned till the end of the video and make sure you like share and subscribe to the video uh, so let's start with the visa journey so the first thing you do is you book the slot for your visa process then first of all you book the slot for your biometrics and then you bo book the slot for your visa interview that's the final step in your visa process right so in my case i was at the sharja airport when we had the bulk opening and there i somehow managed to call my friends and ask them to help me in the booking for the visa slot so they helped me and i got the uh, biometric slot on the 2nd of june and the visa slot on the 6th of june so like i was literally so worried that i was unable to open the um, portal on my phone at the sharja airport there was uh, really slow internet speed and the bandwidth was really low so it was con continuously keeping me uh, in the waiting room so okay so first thing first for my biometrics process i took the ds160 barcode confirmation page i took the i20 i took the appointment confirmation letter and i took my passport and also for the backup i took the service fee receipt uh, so in case they ask me uh, they they just ask me the three documents that's my passport uh, my appointment confirmation and my ds160 barcode confirmation and uh, i had my appointment at the 12:30 and they started the queue uh, at the 12 and just within the span of 5 minutes i completed my all the biometrics and the photo which they take and that's it that was it for the biometric process there was nothing much more nothing difficult so it was quite easy for the biometric process and uh, when i completed my biometrics on 2nd of june i came home and then started to watch the videos on youtube regarding the visa interview and i had the hyderabad consulate as my uh, for my visa interviews so let me tell you all about my visa interview journey uh, i had my visa on the 6th june so the preparation started the day before the 6th june that is on the 5th june uh, i prepared all the document list uh, the documents which are required for your final visa interview are like uh, i took uh, with me the passport i20 uh, my ds160 barcode confirmation page uh, i even took the service fee receipt i took uh, all the 11th 12th mark sheet i took the engineering transcripts with me uh i took uh, the financial certificates such as my father is going to sponsor so i took his 3 years uh, it returns uh, with me and even if in case they ask what's your family income and everything so i took my mother's uh, income tax returns uh, for the last 3 years with me as well uh, in case i miss anything i will just put the list here only on the screen so you can cross check uh, it Uh, so i will tell you with my visa interview process and what i have observed there i prepared like whole lot number of questions right uh, because i was going to transition my career from my engineering to the management field so there were there is a bunch of questions regarding that process uh, and even i will tell you the like you guys know like the questions right like uh, why this course like why this university was there any better university why not that university uh, regarding the 
your university questions regarding your course questions so all are the questions but i even prepared the unique questions such as what is your passport number or what the what are the subjects which you are going to study in the first semester of your master's journey so i prepared that questions as well in case i don't stay quiet in front of the visa interview officer so when i started uh, i had my visa interview at the 10:15 am uh, and i reached the visa consulate at 7 am only that was really good for me because they announced that uh, all the people who are having the visa interview between the slot 10 to 10:30 am please join the queue and that was that announcement was made at the 8 am so the whole visa interview process started at 8 am i hand over my all the electronic items my phone to my mother she was with me and i recommend you to take someone with you to calm your nerves to stay uh, beside you and they make you feel like comfortable so you get comfortable before the visa interview you don't feel like uh, nervous uh, or anything like that just be confident that so when i started in the queue people were having a uh, lot of questions in, uh, in their heads and they were asking the questions like someone was asking me do they ask to solve the code for you or they do they ask the output of the code so like you know all the questions were playing in the mind of every student uh, so when i started with the queue uh, first of all they do the security check they search for any metal items or any electronic devices and after the security check at the hyderabad consulate you get into another building uh, where you uh, stand in the queue for like one hour or 45 minutes until you get your chance when i stood in the queue in front of the visa officer there was a girl in front of me and the officer asked her really n number of questions like why this university why you want to pursue this course she was i believe she was going for a machine artificial intelligence or machine learning something like that and i was like overhearing all the conversation and the officer asked her the definition of ai what's the relation between ai and ml you know they ask uh, you questions to get surety of uh, like what you are going to pursue they want to know like are you really aware of what you are going to do or and also i have prepared the questions such as the opt related questions so in case they ask me what will be your opt status and everything so i was quite prepared but when i started to hear the conversation when the visa officer had with other students uh, it was uh, the time where i was getting really nervous because more than 5 students were rejected beside me uh, so i was really quite nervous and uh, they were really confident in giving the answers so i don't know what's the case with them uh, but Uh, maybe their confidence was less maybe the university was not uh, that impressive or i don't know what's the case with them but in my case uh, i had the boston university and when i went to the officer uh, i just uh, passed a smile to the officer and i said uh, good morning and then he replied me back with the good morning and he asked me to pass the i20 and passport and i did the same and he just asked which all other universities have you applied to so i have applied to like three four universities i said and he asked me like why boston university like which admits you got and why this university so i just answered him in a really general way that i get the international student composure at boston university which is best in business and all so he stopped me in middle and he just said uh, congratulations your visa is approved and you may collect the passport after a few days uh, so that was the whole journey and and when i heard that congratulations your visa is approved like i wanted to dance right at the moment you know so because i have seen lot of rejection beside me on the different counters they were they were rejecting lot of students so i just hugged my mom and i took her blessings that my visa is finally approved and that was my visa interview journey and uh, the whole points which i would say is just be confident uh, whatever you say uh, you should be sure about it because the visa officer have heard same number of answers from different number of students so whatever you say you just add your own experience like you just add your own thing to that answer be unique and be authentic about your answers don't just copy from copy it from someone and just paste it there so i also saw that uh, students who were like giving answers really fast like 
they had mugged up the answers and they were giving they were also rejected so the unique point is you just have to be confident and you just have to give your own unique answers you don't have to like uh, mug up your answers before and you have to give uh, even your university is not that good or not even the ranking of your university is not that good that doesn't matter the way you answer the uh, visa officer is what matters at that moment the visa officer is looking for the authentic and unique answers from your side which blends with your experience and which blends with your career goals so i had prepared like number of questions if you have any questions you can ask them in the comment section i will try to answer and reply as soon as possible for you guys and all the best for your visa interviews just be confident and be authentic that's it that's what i want to say you thank you so much